Hey everybody, uh, I am level 50 now, so I figured what would be fun would be to show, just run around some zones and check them out. Some of these I haven't seen a whole lot. So I'm in the Ocean of Tears, which is a really, really cool zone. I'm at the Sea Furies Island right now, and I'm actually at Gornet. So Gornet spawns right in the water here, kind of next to these tents. Uh, the pirates, I suppose. Um, and I'm with my friend, who can solo them. Uh, so we were just doing sea theories for a long time, which are great money. Gornet is, he drops all of the toes, which is really, um, a lot of people really value the ice giant toes for uh, mage focuses and maybe some other things. But he also drops some money uh, up to maybe 30 plat at a time or something. It's pretty good. Pretty good money. He's on a, like a 640 spawn. So, but the Sea Furies, which is what I've been doing for some of the morning, uh, are amazing. They're still blue at 50. Uh, and they have a two minute spawn on each, which is kind of unbeatable. Uh, I always hear about Sea Furies, but I did not realize that they had such a low spawn timer. All right, so I'm gonna leave. Leave my friend here, Toddy. Uh, yeah, here's the Sea Fury. I think they're all blue. I don't think I saw a single one that wasn't blue. Um, yeah. Oops. So the Ocean of Tears is such a cool zone. Um, I played. I played back in the original, like, 99 to 2003, 4, something like that. It took, like, a 12 or 13-year break. And then I played on the Kornov TLP. Um, I think I started at the end of Canark, right, at, at, as Vilius came out on that one with some of my friends. So I, I never went to the Ocean of Tears, uh, and I did not realize how cool it was. There's uh, islands everywhere. So here is the Ocean of Tears map. Uh, we are on Island 6. Um, there, here are the rings. Druid ring here. It's not, you can't actually port to it. You can only get here by boat, and this is the route of the boat right here. Uh, but there's a lot of things in this area closer together. So I'm actually on the list for the ancient Cyclops. I am number 125. Uh, and that's right here to the east. Um, ancient Cyclops. And what else is on this island? There's some other things too. Let's see. Um, Sea Furies, Gornet, uh, Quag. Yeah, so this is where the uh, Ancient Cyclops spawns. And you can see that everybody is kind of waiting here because there's 100 and, almost 150 people on the, on the list. Um, but, you know, people are pretty good about it. I mean, they have a really organized list, so I imagine if you don't do that, you will be blacklisted. It actually says that in here. Yes, what else is on this island? Um, I think there's some mage spells that are bought on the top of this one. 
So I'm going to go here. What I haven't seen yet is uh, a vendor I can... S well, <laughs> there is a vendor that I can sell to all the way across Ocean of Tears. And Ocean of Tears might be the largest zone in the entire game. Uh, maybe that isn't true, but it's pretty close. Uh, nope. <laughs> I have something here that skeletons can only see. Uh, you can, there's certain people you can sell to if you're a skeleton, but uh, not her. She would be really nice. I could, but I cannot. Oh well, maybe the... the next island over. This is the Sisters Island. This is a really popular one because the sisters drop amazing loot. They really do. Uh, they drop a long sword, and they can be camped in the mid twenties. Drop a long sword every single time, uh, and a long sword sells for eleven plus platinum. And there's two of them on a six forty timer which is, what, 22, 23 platinum every six minutes, six and a half minutes. It is literally the best money in the entire game for this level. There's nothing better. I'm pretty sure the sisters are over in the backside, maybe. I've never done them because I can't sell here, at least not without skeleton money, but even with skeleton money, it's not like that. Um, so you get Call of Bones, which is your skeleton form at... 34. I think he's doing he's doing sister trade. Yeah, he's 25, that makes sense. Um, yes. Uh, because right on the back side of this island, there is a merchant that you can sell to. So if you're a good race, um, they'll sell to you, and it's the best money in the game. It just is. It's the best money in the game for this level. It's the best money in this in the game until maybe hill giants, and hill giants are what low 40s, mid 40s, depending on your class. Or maybe these are the ones. Take them out. Uh, I don't know. It's somewhere on this island. And then there is also a merchant. Oh, these will aggro me. Kind of a hated class. Necromancers like you have no place in my shop. Racist. Or classist, I guess. Yeah, I guess I do. Oh, maybe these are sisters. I don't know. They're here. They're on this island somewhere. boat also lands here, which is really nice. Uh, right at Sisters Island. So, let's see. Let's go look at a couple of others. Actually, we'll look at all of them. Island 9. Which one is that? Ooh, Oracle Cairnorn. I actually would like this guy. I could use his... Um, I could use his... Rope. It's really a different time. Oops. Mm. All right, some things. Let's see. the robe of the oracle. It's a very nice robe for us. Uh, which one is the actual place over there? Nobody might be. Camping, I don't see. My internet is probably not working. <laughs> so let's see, there's some goblins here. That's mainly it. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is a good goblin island. This is probably good in the you know, uh, 20s, let's say. But also the robe of the oracle would be really nice to have. Mm -hmm. A lot of goblins here. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. I can come back here. Uh, 
I might camp that rogue here because I am on the list for the uh, ancient cyclops. I'm actually gonna bind there real quick, just so I can get back if I need to. So I also, as you can see, have so and dead man floating, which is oh, man, is it a nice one? Uh, so Ocean of Tears is a lot more accessible to me. Otherwise, you have to swim everywhere. And so, like, the far side of the zone, which I think is the only merchant I can actually sell to, here, is, you know, basically impossible. I mean, it would take, you know, an hour to swim there, or 30 minutes, probably, maybe an hour there and back. So I'm going to find right here so that when I'm on the list, I can just right back. Yes, so one of these, this is another really cool island. This is Gargs, but it also has, it might be camped, Spectres. Camping them, I guess. Um, Spectres is a really great camp. Uh, not Spectres, uh, Gargoyles and Spectres is good too. So the Gargoyles spawn here, so he's camping them up because I think these aren't paying much money. Um, they drop Gargoyle Eyes, which sell for I think like 9 or 10 plat, and you can do them in the low 20s, which is one of the best things you can possibly do for money at that level. Uh, they also have greater skeletons. Let's see, these right here. So those are kind of the placeholders, and they're slightly lower, or not slightly lower, quite a bit lower, a few levels lower. Uh, kill those, and gargs will eventually spawn. What's kind of cool is the gargoyles are KOS to the skeletons, so over t like if you leave them alone for a long time, the gargoyles will eventually kill all the skeletons, and it'll be an island full of gargoyles if anyone's camping. But if something's ca somebody's camping it, it's like 50-50 chance or something uh, for the skeletons versus the gargoyles. Uh, yes, this person is camping the um, Spectres, obviously. Right here, they're sitting on this platform. Um, really great camp. So there's four of them around the spire. Four. Uh, I've done them before. I charmed them at, uh, I don't know, 44 maybe. And um, you can clear all four of them. It's kind of an amazing experience. The problem is that the vendor is so far away that you can't really sell super easily so I like to do something that you can um, sell right next to the camp or at least not across the world like this one happens to be. So there you go. So that's Spectre. So they're right at the top. It's Dino Island. Let me set that. Okay, so I'm actually going to buy a spell from somebody. Nice. Okay. So I'm running due west right now, which is what I want, because I want to go to Elysia Silver. Okay, this is the Elysia Silver Island. Never done Elysia Sword, but apparently, as this 50 Necro just told me, he can solo it. Which, it's just got 15,000 life and is level 50, so that's the surprising part. But, supposedly you can. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I remember which one's which. So, Elysia Sword. Level 50, 1500, or 1500, 15,000 HP. Uh, drops really good gems, like a lot, supposedly. Haven't actually done it, but um, yeah, he spawns on island
drawings number five, I believe, which is where I am currently. currently. So, from what I understand, the, the place alert is an aqua goblin sacrifice. Maybe over here? I don't know. Or maybe it's spawned from the same spot. I'm not positive. I haven't actually done it, but that is the placeholder, so I don't know why they're not clearing it, because there's like five people on this island waiting for this camp. Anywho, I am going the wrong way. Okay. So now I'm gonna go check out the other islands. Let's go to four next. So four is at 1,000. Across the ocean. Run, 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 run. Across the ocean. Uh, yeah, this is it's, it's such an interesting zone because I kind of feel like you could stay here from 10 to 50 pretty easily. Uh, just keep rolling through the islands. Okay, so this island is uh, maybe the lowest. It's It's got alluring sirens and aqua goblins on it. Supposedly this is an amazing camp for, you know, level 12 to something around there. I think they're level 13 bards, the sirens are, and bards, if you know, have pretty low life. Um, so they can be really good. I don't know if anyone's camping this one. Uh, the boat also comes right next to this, so you can just jump off and head right here. Just watch out for sharks. Or if you have a live, it doesn't matter. I don't know exactly where the sirens spawn, but This is also a great one to get all the way on top of. Oh wow, am I max? Oh no, this might be something that you can't be max. There we go. It's a really high island. Nice, that's cool. Yeah, I guess I can go all the way over. This is really high up, but it's cool. I love eleven, so. ZX, this is yeah, at four, four, two, 470. It's really high. Anyway, okay. Uh, so, where am I going now? Let's go to Island 3. We're going to the. Oh, Aviac Island. Yeah, there's several things on this guy. This island. So, what's that? 2,000, 4,000. Sure, AVX or beta neutral. Don't quote me on that. That they, no one. I'm not sure about the names, but I don't think any of them really kill you. So what drops here? Can't see. Um, yeah, I guess the names level 35. So it's pretty big. These are probably a really good place to camp, actually. Is Pumpernickel still here? Just love 
love this zone. There's so much to each of these islands. They're so different from one another. They all have interesting things. Um, yeah, just a great, great place. Really cool old world zone. Avieka. Yeah, so Ebon War Spirit drops here. Um, what's this thing for? Ingot of the Fervent. Embraces of the Fervent. Is it clear quest? Yes, it is. Not that good. Why would you want this? This thing. Um, yes, let's see. Okay, let's go to Island 2. It's on Island 2. But the Evan War Spear drops there, which is very good. Um, okay, so let's. What's that? Let's go to Island One first. So that's going to be like 1,000, 9,000. Yeah, see, here's kind of a trick as you can kind of see with the terrain here. Water, since like this is old blocky graphics, uh, you can see where there's a line of like this is what the terrain is going to be right here, and you can sort of see the fissure on it. These are pretty close to the um, lock ones location. All right, so this one has a couple things. It has uh, Nervilic and Brawn. Camping because he's a level 20 or something. I don't know. Oh, so is fading. Oh, that hurts. Um, what do we got? So we got some Paco Goblins. Where's the Paco? This is the first thing you encounter when you are on the boat. Not that it actually stops here, but you'll pass it. Oh, God, it's slow. Oh, it's so slow. Alright, so now we're going to where I really wanted to go, which was the merchant. It's going to be around. It's going to be what? 8,250. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's another one right there. Maybe he's good because he spawns every time. I don't know if that's who he is. I can actually kill him immediately. Let's see. Watch him hit for like 5,000, but alright. Yeah, more sirens. Those are good. Um, yeah, just place a level bit. Here, the lake. A whole lot of life in there. Okay, let's have a look. Just cast out a 49, my best 49 dot on you, and you're taking some health. Like fishing spear. 